Okay guys, so I wanna give you a couple tips and tricks on the cluster helper 10,000. So um, when you're doing the pigtail, um, I like to do it to the length to where this is like sitting on the clock spring. I think that's plenty long. Uh, so basically, uh, I'm not gonna cut it completely down. So basically I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do my cutting and splicing about right here. And then, um, you know, cluster helper mounts on there. Make sure your little red stripe when you plug it in. You can see I'm a little crooked. I need to straighten that. Looking at it now, um, the red stripe is towards the driver's side. You know, don't get these backwards. You know, don't plug a 08 cluster in the, in the top port. You know, so we're doing 08, so we got it in that port. You know, that bolts right in. So another tip I want to show you is the cluster sits like this in the truck. The plugs towards the driver's side. So when you're wiring this up, make sure your plug is facing that way so it makes it easier to plug in because if you twist it this way and you tape it all up and everything you're gonna have to bind the wires around to get it to plug in you're gonna be fighting the wires so make sure you guys cut and splice it with the plug facing the way it'll be plugged in so and keep a good amount of length you don't want that sucker being too short so and another little tip and trick so this has the info buttons the 08 one on the side of the side of the cluster over here um, so basically you know you got your illumination your ground right here and then these two wires these are your two little info wires right here so that's what uh, uh these two are right here the white and green uh, slides are so and then what else I got to show you I had some but um I put mine on a pigtail the ones that go to the truck so now that we already wired them in the truck we have a plug on the truck, so basically I can take the dash, plug it in, plug in the cluster helper to the sensors, and she's ready to party. So I don't have one long pigtail, you know, running throughout the whole truck, basically kind of hard mounting the cluster helper to the truck. So now they're two separate harnesses for plug and play. So the more you know. Um, other than that, uh, I'm just gonna shoot down this list and get crack a lacking on cutting and splicing 10 bajillion wires. So um, the only other thing I can say is if you're doing 11 to 16, um, there's the select wire. And if you're using an 11 to 16, all you gotta do is ground this baby out and it puts the cluster helper into 11 to 16 mode. So if that ain't grounded out, it stays in 08 mode. So we ain't using that wire. And uh, honestly, I'm probably gonna chop it off sh uh, a little short and uh, cap it off with a with a heat shrink so heck yeah so all right guys well i'm gonna get crack a lock in i'm gonna make this harness look even more beautiful because man ooh, that thing looks good that one all right guys this is another little tip and trick so i did go ahead and put the stickers on because i'm gonna go ahead and cut them so i can individually grab the wires from here because if you look at my plus thing is kind of offset so I wanna grab all the wires and, and shift everything to right here so we're in the center of this. I don't like it being on the edge of this and I don't want it to be chafing right here, so. Um, I guess one thing, one tip and trick is uh, in the instructions it says if you have two four by four low wires, the brown, yellow, and then the light blue, black, tie them together and uh, you know put them to the four by four wire on the new pigtail, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I do have them. And then um, right here is the low fuel indicator. Um, there's not even a sticker for it. And it's because the truck doesn't need it. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that wire. So we're not even gonna use this one wire. But other than that, I'm gonna cut and splice the rest of these bad boys to that big toe. So let me get at it. All right guys, so I wanted to do, I just did a little investigating because I always wondered, I was like, why don't we use that gray orange? Whatever the heck, there it is this one you know uh there's no sticker for it um it's not on there you know uh i was like it's i think it's i it said something with the fuel indicator thing so i was like man well, let me look into this i'm just curious so just you know in case you're curious like me so it's this wire right here the gray and orange and now this is the inertia cutoff switch so you roll your truck uh the switch you know flips and kills the fuel on the truck that's what it is so let's say that switch flips instead of it running to the fuel pump, the power, it now runs to that little wire and that little wire goes to the cluster and lights up an indicator. 
yeah so pretty simple so we've got our inertia switch right here so basically if, if this sucker needs to be pushed instead of the power going through um, whatever one it was supposed to go through it goes through the gray orange right there and the gray orange goes through here to here to here to the gauge cluster and that indicator pops on so other than that um, I'm just gonna pull it back as far as I can and just snip it and leave it in the harness because I'm not on a new amount tape so hell yeah video clip this thing looks good <laughs> got your headlight switch your dimmer switch Leg pack looks good. Got a fuse box. LBD2 port. Your info, little button thing to change stuff on the cluster. This thing looks really good. Oh, look at that. Look at that part. Oh. All right, time to slap skin on. This is in the truck. All right, Axel. All right, guys, so we got the vent helper in. We got wires in. So we're gonna put the dash in. So stay tuned for that. The sun's coming up. So, we got the dash in. What? Testing the blinkers. Airbag light, I ain't got no airbag. <laughs> uh, so we're still uh, hooking stuff up, but got that vent helper, baby. But yeah, I mean, uh, now we gotta hook up the stereo and the AC controls. Uh, I still gotta do the defrost back there. I ain't looking forward to that one. Let's take a look. Yeah, lights are working. But yeah, so just button her up, but ooh, look how accessible them fuses are in that OBD2 port. And then realize chicken butt say what? So yeah. We're gonna bolt this sucker in. Right. Heck yes. Ooh. So. Oh yeah, so give me a couple minutes. I'll wrap this bad boy up. Oh, we'll go to you for a test drive. Excited. Put a lot of work into this puppy. Tell you what. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Ooh. that wiring I'm just excited look at that thing look at that thing it's coming together look at this bezel this looks good too so excited all right I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna finish putting this thing together and we go for a test drive yes <sighs> all right guys we about got her all done just gonna get the driver's seat new door panels new headliner new almost air thing man look at that dash I think it looks good. Oh. Okay, guys. So, I uh, went for a test drive. Everything went pretty good, except the airbag light won't stop freaking blinking. So, I'm going to plug it up before it's going to see what's up. Thank God we got our handy dandy over the YouTube port right there. Oh. Look at that. I'm going to plug it in here and see what happens. So, other than that, the truck did pretty good. Oh, that thing looks sick. AC controls, look at those things. These things are flush. Remember they're all that? And then um, I figured out a shifter. Um, 
All right, guys, what's up? So, uh, wrap this build up. So I thought I had footage of us actually driving it around in, in more finished product video footage, but um, that was all I had. Uh, I was trying to rush it at the end because uh, he had a, a long drive back to LA. So he drove up here for a long weekend, basically, we wrapped it all up and he drove it back. Um, and then I wanted to go to bed. I was up for like two, going on three days, trying to get that, get it done. But we got it done, he drove it back. Um, he still needs to find the new seat belts and a couple other things, but other than that, he pretty much drove the truck up here. I supplied all the, the swap helper parts, the cluster helper, column helper, vent helper. I supplied the 08 headliner and all the 08 stuff that we put in. He, he supplied the door panels. I just got the switches and all that stuff going for him. And then uh, we wired up his dash. Now his dash definitely had a lot of bells and whistles for an 08 one. For sure, it wasn't. A, it's probably one of the more complex 08 dash builds I've ever done because he had a lot of switches and fancy stuff going in there and 10,000 zip ties. That's why I called it the zip tie bandit. But other than that, uh, you know, the swap helper stuff, those three parts, he spent about 1700 on those. And then uh, probably another couple hundred dollars. Probably spent $2,500 in parts with the headliner, the cluster helpers. Um, my parts all that I think he spent about 2,500 in parts and then I want to say another thousand to 1500 labor that, That's about where he sat. So majority of it was all parts and Then you know, usually my, my labor is actually the cheap end of the project. It's not it's not all that I'll tell guys how much it is to do the whole truck and they're like, well, I already have all the parts I'm like nah, you need the cluster helper column helper shift cable headlight little relay pack uh, Whatever you want to do for the radio, you know all kinds of stuff so the parts add up a lot faster than the labor does i'll tell you that so but other than that uh that's pretty much it for the zip tie bandit for right now there's a quick little build uh just basically get this guy to where he wanted you know we got that new cluster in we got all his dash wiring fixed so yeah um uh, hope you all liked it um stay tuned for the next builds um man i got more footage i just gotta edit it and upload it so i'll catch y'all later